What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for part three in the finale of our Air Max One Atmos Viotech restoration. So if you missed the first two, here's what you missed. We did a deep clean inside and out. We painted the white on the back here on the heel cup. We sole swapped them after removing the original sole. And now it's time to address the suede and take out these creases. So for those of you that are new, this is Vintage Kicks Gallery. Okay, so we're gonna use a few products for this. I'm gonna use Angela's Shoe Stretch to remove the wrinkles or the creases. I'm gonna use Mink Oil and Suede Renew, also by Angela's, to basically bring back the color of the suede and make it a little bit more consistent. And then finally, we're gonna use our suede brush just to brush it out and make it look pretty. So let's get started right away. I'm gonna get started by soaking the uh, creases here with our um, Angela's Shoe Stretch. And if you guys have never seen this process done before, it's basically done without any ironing. I use a heat gun here. So we need to let that soak in just a little bit. And then we're gonna use our heat gun. We're gonna apply a ton of heat to it and we're gonna watch those creases just come right out. So let's add just a little bit more and then let's get started. All right, when doing this, let the heat gun warm up a lot. Uh, you want it to be at full temp before you start doing this. And guys, keep an eye on how much shoe stretch you have on there because you want this area to be really damp and you know to reapply it when you see it to start dry up. Let's keep the heat gun moving. We don't wanna leave it in one place too long because that is when we burn the leather. And as we see it dry, we're gonna actually leave the heat gun going. We're gonna apply more. and repeat. All right, that's definitely good enough for me, so let's move on and address this suede. And for that, we're gonna start with a product called Angelus, uh, what is this called? Angelus Suede Renew, and basically what this does is see how the suede's blotchy right now? It's gonna make it look a little bit more uniform and darken it up. So all you have to really do to use this stuff is spray it on liberally. I'm just gonna hit all the bottom suede here. We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna reapply. So let's let it dry. Now that that's dried out a little bit, let's reapply it. Generally I do about three coats on this and it seems to work. This suede wasn't in terrible condition so I think it's gonna really come back to life here. I was gonna dye it to be honest with you but after seeing it, I don't think it needs it. So let's go ahead and give this some ample time to dry and I'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. I think this looks a ton better already. What do you think? And this is fully dry. As you can see, the brown is rich and it looks so much better. Now let's go ahead and give it one more coating, but this time with some Angel's mink oil. And I'm using the aerosol stuff, but you can use it in any different form. So basically what we're gonna do here is just spray. It's gonna lock that color in. And this is also going to protect the suede. So if you guys are used to using uh, any sneaker protectors or anything like that, mink oil can be your best friend, trust me. This stuff is all natural, it works really well, and it really, really brings back color. All right, let's give that a second to dry, and then let's go ahead and brush this suede out. All right, now that this is dry, we're gonna use a handy suede brush and I'll go ahead and link this below. But the reason I like this is it has multiple different ways to do it. So I like to hit it with this first, which is kind of a, um, just a rubbery, I don't even know what you call it, but it basically combs the suede. Get 
distribute that evenly. Now, if you had any situation where you needed it to be a little bit more powerful, you can use the uh, metal brush on here. But like I said, we don't need it on this. All right, guys, I'm getting excited. Let's throw the laces on and see how they look. Well guys, what do you think? Take a look. To me, these look a ton better, but let's go over exactly what we did just one more time. We started with a deep cleaning in and out that restored the shape just a little bit more. We took off the soles. We replaced them with some donor soles. We uh, touched up this white in the back. We went ahead and addressed this nappy, really faded suede and made it nice and consistent. We took out the creasing in the front toe box. And basically the this, this shape has been restored as well just by keeping a shoe tree in there and letting it morph back into shape. Guys, never underestimate how powerful a shoe tree could go. All right, let's take a look at some before and afters. Well guys, if you like this series or you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please share, please just tell somebody and we'll see you on the next one. All right, have a good one.